Next on Mark Plus, she's the owner of two of New York's hottest restaurants. Donatella Arpaia shares her delicious homemade pasta recipe. Then next. Uh, up next, we have restaurateur Donatella Arpaia, who's going to join me making delicious homemade orecchiette pasta with broccoli raw. Don't go away. First guest is one of the youngest restaurateurs in New York City. She co-owns the popular David Burke and Donatella restaurant, and she's just opened a new restaurant called Anthos. And she's here today to teach us how to make one of her favorite dishes. Please welcome Donatella Arpaia. Hi, welcome. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Very, very nice. And uh, congratulations on the new restaurant. Thank you. So how are you going to manage two restaurants? I mean. Uh, your your uh, Burke and Donatella, Donatella is so busy. I know. Thank God. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and God. now the new one is where? On 52nd between 5th and 6th, oh, right so across from the 21 Club. Oh. So I'm jetting back and forth all night long. Oh, it's, are you running by by foot? I have a little Vespa. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's excellent. Now um, you wanted to teach me how to make orchid. Yes. I love it. I came from. My mother comes from Puglia. She's one of ten. So I spent my summers there, and my aunts always taught me how to make it. So we're going to start with. Um, it's a very simple recipe. Most pastas we're used to making egg. This this is just double O flour. Okay. From Italy, we're going to pour it through the. So where do you get the double O? Just for everyone. And mo most local stores, if you can't find double O, you can use a half mixture of all-purpose and cake flour. Okay. Because it's a very finely ground talcum, but I love double O for making pasta. It's really the best and, and more. And, and we're mixing habit. with that. We're two and a quarter cups of double O flour and one cup of, of semolina, semolina flour. That gives that gritty cornmeal, uh, yellow creamy texture, and you're just going to mix it up and okay. create a well. Nice little mm. well in the middle. Okay. And we have here uh, about a cup of warm water with salt already inside. And we're going to take a fork so we don't get, we're going to get messy, but not too messy. Okay. And we're going to slowly incorporate the water in a little at a time and start. So you just. Yeah, you start the... slowly incorporating it in. This is the part that takes a little while. But it's fun. It's very relaxing. So this I find. is a very simple flour, semolina, and water. How how simple can pasta be? And um, uh, so why did you eliminate the egg? In the south, it's really, um, I guess, a poorer part of the country, so they didn't use use eggs as much. But I find it to be very much healthier. Um, every once in a while, you find some Puglian cooks sneaking in an egg when the when the dough doesn't form too well, but they're cheating. <laughs> now, where is Puglia? Puglia is the heel of the boot. It's between the um, Adriatic and Ionian Seas. You know, the city of Bari, that's oh, the capital. Yes. Oh, and with the white buildings, those wonderful. It's so beautiful. Oh. It, it looks, it's very close to Greece, and it, and it has a Greek feel to it. And well, I remember coming from Greece the first time to that part of Italy on a ferry boat and uh, come from Igamonitsa oh, to Bari. Oh, I was just astonished at that, the beauty of the Italian coastline there. And yes, the food is very delicious. It's a lot of fish, a lot of pasta, and we can make, we're going to make a lot of fun shapes today. We're going to make orecchiette, which is the most distinctive pasta from Puglia. And orecchiette means little ears. I think we could start forming a ball, uh, a ball now. Oh, so you're not using all your water. Okay. I, I like to add it in at the end. I play with it. You know, a lot of time, like most Italian cooks, it's not a perfect science. It could be the humidity in the air that affects it that of day. Of course. So. Okay, well, do your thing. Do your thing. Now we're going to get our us. hands dirty. Here we go. And you have your scraper there, too. Yes, I do. It feels so good. It does. It's a sm very smooth dough. I was playing with it in the kitchen. I know. We were having fun. And uh, learning. I think we came up with another way to form the orecchietti. Yeah. A couple, there are a couple of ways. Yeah. Well, you can show us your, your way. You know, Italians have an opinion about everything, including the kind of pasta. Are you an opinionated make. person? <laughs> in my restaurant, definitely. <laughs> definitely. So what are the specialties at, uh, at uh, David Burke and uh, Donatella? David Burke and Donatella is modern American food. And uh, we have our lobster steak, uh, our T-bone steak, a lot of um, day boat sea scallops with quail eggs and sausage. David Burke is such a creative uh, guy. And now we start kneading. And okay. this is where you get all your uh, energy out. Yes. 
don't go to the gym that day. <laughs> yeah, you this can is swap out. Now. Okay. Well, here I haven't, you, even, I haven't need, even gotten to knead yet. You need for about a good ten minutes because you want it to be nice and silky, and because we're using a harder flour with a higher protein content, you really have to work the dough. So you never uh, put this into the uh, cuisine art? Yeah, you can. Oh. You can. Um, I think it's simpler for the home cook to put in a cuisine art. I just, you, you know, like my to... aunts taught me how to do it yes. by hand, and I just uh, like the process. It At the good. restaurant, do you make your own? We make all our own pasta. You do. Um, in Anthos, which is uh, our new restaurant, it's new Greek cuisine, which is really close to my heart because Puglia is so close to Greece. We make our own in yucky and oh, nudi. This is beautiful dumpling. pasta. Isn't that nice? Yes. So this, can, this will take about 10 minutes to knead until so it is soft and, and glorious. And I guess and we can put it all over put there. It over here. Okay. And we, you let the dough rest for about a half hour. And that's it. We'll get rid of that. Feels good, doesn't it? Oh, it's wonderful. So have our new I would have needed more. I would have needed more water uh, to use up all this uh, dry ingredients. Dry ingredients. Yes. Yeah. So we have. Do you see how silky that looks? Oh, so beautiful. This dough. Okay. Just need it for one and second. So, so now, okay. So just get that soft, yeah. and keep it uh, keep it uh, covered, right? Exactly. While, while you're while you're using it. I like to keep it covered it. in either warm dank cloth or a little plastic saran wrap and let it rest. Or otherwise, you get that little crusty film mm -hmm. on top. And this is the fun part. All we have to do is it's, we already halved it, so you just roll it out a little bit. Oh, so this is half the dough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and you can see how very, very smooth, smooth it is. Smooth and silky yeah. it is. It's wonderful. And it has that nice yellow color. Is that for all from the semolina? Yes. You could use more semolina, but it's really hard to work with the more semolina you use. I like the combination of the two. And then we're going to take our pizza cutter. Uh, and just cut it into strips? Mm -hmm. About one inch thick. Oh. Oh, that one. Oh, that cutter. Okay. <laughs> You can use that too. Oh, this is easier. Yeah. And this is fun. All we do is roll it in between our hands and make little snakes. Okay. I love making pasta by hand. Um, I think it's so much better than machine pasta. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> I love oh, making so pasta pretty. by hand. Isn't that fun? Very. Okay. Okay, now so we're, we're making make the orecchiette. Orecchiette. Okay. Let's clear this out of the way. And you just cut them in. You can use your pizza cutter, one-inch strips. Okay, so you're making teeny ones. You, you know what? But you can make whatever size you want. And then okay. you take a knife, a blunt knife with slightly serrated edges, and you spread it like this. Which and then you flip it over mm -hmm. your thumb. How beautiful! And there you go. Your so we were in the kitchen. Ear. We were doing this way. Yeah. We were doing it with our thumb in our yes. palm of our hand. You can and find so that little. Makes it, that yeah. makes it slightly larger. You can find little old ladies in their doorways making those like a hundred a minute. They're oh. so fast at it through the years. But there are different methods. Yeah. So you can. And if you practice. want, you could just spread it like this and make a cavatelli. I like the cavatelli too. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> well, when we come back, Donatella and I will finish making this classic Italian dish. Don't go away. Donatella Arpaia, and we're almost done making this traditional, um, beautiful, beautiful homemade pasta with broccoli rabe broccoli and, and sweet, uh, sausage. sweet sausage. This Ooh, is a classic so Puyin dish. Our okay. kept is boiling. Yep, we're cooking now. It takes them. about five to eight minutes. Okay. I uh, saute, I browned already sweet sausage. I took it out of the pan. I put in extra virgin olive oil, and now if you want to... Uh, you discarded some, the oil from the sausage? Yes. Yes. But I like to keep the little sausage bits in there Good. for flavor. So we can brown the uh, garlic if okay. you like, and I'm going to start uh, taking out my broccoli de rap, which I love. Mm. So you blanch that? Yes, I blanch it for about a minute to, to take away the uh, bitterness a little bit. 
And if I ever need a little more cooking liquid, I take it from here because it has that flavor if I ever want to add it to my sauce if it's a little dry. So do you brown the garlic or just golden? Golden yeah. for about a minute. We okay. don't want it to burn. No. I love broccoli jaffa. Mm-hmm. It looks brown already. Yeah. So we can toss in the rafa. Okay, so it's gonna it's Be gonna careful. splatter. Oh, little water. standing far away. <laughs> we can't get our clothes dirty. <laughs> God <Yeah>. forbid. <laughs> oh, does that smell really, really good? Yum. And a uh, half a teaspoon of chili flakes, but if you like it more hot, you know. Who's, add more. Who's to say? Okay. Do you like it spicy? We'll add a little more. Okay. That's great. Doesn't it smell good? It's such I'm a standing, simple. I'm standing far away from it <laughs> because the fumes from the red peppers. Oh my gosh! This will start me. And we're just gonna toss back the sausage. Oh, in. how beautiful Isn't this, this pretty? is! Oh. Just that is a good dish without the pasta. It is. And so you think the orecchietti are ready? I think so. Let me get the let me get this boiling. little strainer. I think it's right oh, here. It's not it. No, I was gonna. Oh, the little the strainer is missing again. Would you like a, this one? Oh yeah, that's the one. That's so much easier than go, putting everything in the colander. There we go. Looks beautiful. Oh, look how plump and gorgeous those look, and they are homemade, which is so gorgeous. I like to toss in uh, a little cheese, but that's just a personal preference. Oh, no, everybody likes the cheese. And I always like to toss it in the pan. I think it just amalgamates all the juices together as opposed to just piling it on separately. That Doesn't is that so, look beautiful? Oh, it's so gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then uh, you can serve that with additional cheese if you like, right? Absolutely. And uh, shall we? Yeah, put it right on here. Plate it. Here, I'll do, you want me to hold that? Got it. Looks beautiful. Here, I'll just... Oh. I'm it, getting a facial at the same time. Okay, I know. Don't you, don't you love it? <laughs> don't you love that when that happens, all that nice steam? Doesn't that look amazing? Beautiful. A little extra cheese. Well, everyone in the studio audience is getting a jar of Donatella's sauce. And I thank you so much. You're welcome. You want to taste your own? Sure. Other Thank you. Before. Thank you very much. And uh, so what made you make the sauce? Oh, um, I used to can tomatoes growing up. And I, I these. I think these, we have a picture of you with your grandma. Yeah. And this sauce is made in Italy. It's made from fresh tomatoes as opposed to most jarred sauces, which come from canned tomatoes. Right. So I wanted to bring that process to the mm -hmm. people at home. So it's a tradition these that we love. These are really wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank we'll be you. right back. Mm.